All right, y'all. This next video, it doesn't necessarily have too much to do with the ongoing tribulation. All right, but it does have to do with black people, or I mean, whatever you want to refer to them as. All right, and I just had to let y'all know if you haven't figured it out. Uh, I'm very interested by black people. Now, for one reason, is because there's a race war that's being instigated for no good reason. I mean, well, it is a good reason to take us down as a country and to further the tribulation. But I, I'm also interested in black people because I feel like, you know, there are lots of times, there are oftentimes these as guinea pigs, openly so sometimes. Um, and if you're concerned about your own well-being, then you might want to focus on what's being done to black people because inevitably that's going to be done to you no matter what race you are. Remember the, the tippity top of this economic structure, the people at the tippity top hate your guts. It does not matter what color skin you have. They want you dead. They want you to kill yourselves. That's their main goal. And so... You know, uh, for this and many reasons, I've become pretty interested in, um, you know, the plight of certain black people and stuff. And then I'll hear about uh, many stories. And here's one such story that I found very interesting. Now, um, even before I read this story, I mean, I've watched Comic View and I've watched certain black publications and they always seem to laugh and enjoy and themselves and and you know carry on about the fact that none of them can swim for some reason that's a that's a point of humor for for black people in the popular culture is that they have no clue how to swim i really don't understand how that would be funny at all to begin with i never really found that funny to begin with but it used to be hilarious, like when you'd hear about them on Comic View talking about how they can't swim for and, and things. I mean, this is what I knew about. Somehow, I mean, I have cousins who are black people, but I mean, and I have known black people, but it's like, I'm not sure, besides popular culture, how or why I could have known that on the whole, black people can't swim. They don't usually swim. They, you know what I'm saying? They, they stay out of pools most of the time. I already knew that. Um, and the story that I want to cover right here, and of course I left links below and stuff, you can see it in further detail, was a story of six black teenage children dying, drowning in the Red River, which I believe is in Louisiana. I'm not sure. Uh, it's, of course, it's detailed down in the links below. And that's a terrible nightmare situation. Apparently, I mean, this is a group of 30 some odd black people. For some reason, they all happen to be black at the river that day. Uh, that's a terrifying situation to see all these kind of people and like they're simply having to watch um, six teenage children die one by one, drown, and beg for their lives one by one. Uh, subsequently, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just sounds terrible and horrible and a nightmare situation. And the reason that this was enabled to happen, uh, the reason why all, all six of these kids drowned um, is because none of the people there at the river that day, none of them knew how to swim. They all happen to be black people. None of them knew how to swim. At all. Uh, and of course, you know, some of these teenagers, I mean, these teenagers were the children of the other people. So basically, uh, parents, from what I understand, mainly mothers, I don't know if there were any fathers to begin with, were there. Um, they all, they watched their children die one by one, in a horrible fashion. Now, this is a tragedy. All right? Uh, it's devastating. I don't even have to, I don't even have to elaborate on the fact that this is 
terrible. It's gruesome. But I do want to, I want to help. This is the reason for this video. I don't hate black people at all. I love black people just like I love any other, I like, I like white people, like I love white people and Asian people and whatever nationality or race that you can conjure up. I love them. I love them like strangers, you know what I'm saying? I, I show respect for you. I'm not really going to do much for you except, you know, be kind to you in passing when I see you. Um, and then also try to help you through videos on YouTube. Now, this is what I want to bring up too and you know this is kind of a side note but I really do have to bring this up um, to help people because see uh, it seems to me like these these children were first of all they were never taught to swim uh, nobody knew knew how to swim and they were being kind of sabotaged since the day they were born to be honest with you because I want to read out their names let me just read out their names real quick and I'll further elaborate on, on the reason why I got stuck on this. You got Takitha, Jamarcus, Jatavius, and DeKendricks Warner. I believe DeKendricks was actually one of the ch children who survived, thankfully. Um, then you also got Latrell. Ladarius and Latevin Stewart. Now, here's the reason why I bring this up. This is a tragedy. Everybody recognizes this. But as mothers, when you were naming these children, you had to have known. I mean, it's obvious. What you did, for the most part, was you took names that everybody heard of and you fucked them up in a way that's kind of hilarious. You know, I don't mean to be laughing. Nobody's laughing right now, but still, the names are ridiculous and preposterous. What you did was you took regular names, and like I said, you fucked them up. I've heard of the name Keith before. I've heard of the name Marcus. I've heard of the name Tavius. I've heard of the name Kendrick. I've heard of the name Darius and Tevin. These are all names that exist. And are respectable. Takitha, Jamarcus, Jatavius, DeKendricks, Latrell. I don't know. How, I mean, that's just a completely, uh, completely made up one. That's, I mean, at least that's original. And Ladarius and Latevin. Now, the, the reason I bring this up is because now you have a horrible tragedy in which the people who are reading about this tragedy are going to have to, a, a lot of them, are going to start chuckling. Now your children just died, first of all, and that's horrible, but now you're forcing strangers to, against their will, chuckle at all of their names because it's hilarious. That's something you might want to think about, like in the, in the, the off chance of, that your child might die a horrible death, you did not want people to read about it and accidentally start laughing. That's one reason why you might want to give them actual names. One of the mother's names of, of, of the Warner children, her name's Maude. Guess what? I've heard of that name. That does not make me want to laugh. I'm just bringing that up to kind of help people, man. Don't make people laugh at your child's tragic death. It's crazy. But, you know, uh, not to make this too, too long because I have a 15-minute limit. Um, but here's the thing, man, it's like, uh, now, everybody, you know what, it doesn't matter what your race is, it never really did matter what your race is, if you have a child, uh, go ahead and have them learn how to swim, please, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, I guess just as a rule of thumb, if you're gonna not teach them how to swim, go ahead and keep their fucking ass out of water please especially it's not a damn pool or something where you can clearly judge like if you're gonna go to a body of water and you can't swim you need to be able to clearly see your feet through the water if you can't do that you have no business being in that body of water especially a raging river like the red river as i've heard it's described 
kind of crazy. Now, uh, reading, see, I mean, before I get into uh, some studies that I was reading about, I want to explain something, all right? I know how to swim, okay? I have a daughter, and the last time I seen her was just a while back. Uh, she was learning how to swim, all right? She had floaties on and stuff. The reason being is because she didn't know how to swim all the way, and we wanted to make sure that she didn't drown. And also, we were always holding on to her. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you have children, and they don't know how to swim, well, uh, then you you better know how to swim. None of these people knew how to swim. For some reason, they thought it was a good idea to go to this river. And it was a, to it was a horrible idea. But this is just as a rule of thumb. You better know how to swim because if you're not holding on to your child, you're going to need to save your child. There's no way that you're going to rely. A responsible parent does not rely on somebody else to save their child's life in a time of need. No, that doesn't happen. And you know what? Hypothetically, say I didn't know how to swim. Guess what? We shouldn't even be going to a river. If I and my child both don't know how to swim, we have no business being at the river. Now, let's just say that for some reason, we couldn't find an, another spot to cool off at at all in the area. And for some reason, we wanted to we wanted to push our luck and go to this river. This is what I would do. Say if my child wanted to go out in the water, I would hold my child's hand. All right? And say if I didn't want to go out in the water, and for some reason she did want to go out in the water, neither one of us knew how to swim. All right, this is what I would do, and I don't care how embarrassing this is. I don't want you to die in the damn water, which is a very real possibility. Guess what? I'm going to put floaties on my daughter. I'm going to put a life vest on her, and she's going to float. Not only that, I don't care how embarrassing it is. I'm going to tie a rope to her. And I'm going to hold on to the other end of the rope. And I'm going to get shore footing on the shore of that body of water. And I'm going to stand in such a way that there's no way that you're going to pull me into the water. And I'm going to make sure that there's no way that you're going to drown at all. At all. I don't care how embarrassing it is. Because neither one of us know how to swim. And you could very easily die in that water. That water does not care who you are. It will drown you. I just want to, I mean, honestly, as a parent, that's exactly what I would do. It's ridiculous. Now, there was a study that was, uh, you know, it was done by the, uh, it's like the, swim, the USA Swimming Study or whatever. Uh, and also, for whatever reason, the CDC did a study as well. And um, American Academy of Pediatrics also did a study that said drowning is the second leading cause of unintentional and injury-related, uh, you know, incidences for people younger than 19. So, I mean, it's something to worry about no matter who you are and stuff. If you're under 19, you might want to learn how to swim. Your parents might want to teach you how to swim. In fact, you know, it's not even a might. Teach your children how to swim. And then it goes further, the CDC said black children drown at a rate of more than three times that of white children. Why? Because for some reason, they think it's just all right to not know how to swim or whatever. But then, you know, they did surveys, like I said, quickly finishing up, uh, USA Swimming Study did a survey and says, well, black people have a lack of access to pools. Why would black people even need pools if they don't know how to swim for one? I mean, we're talking about the chicken and the egg here. Uh, and also the expense of swimming lessons. You know what? You, you, I know y'all are on YouTube and all sorts of the internet. Man, I see y'all on it. Uh, it's called YouTube. You can learn how to swim. It's for free. God dang it. Go to a pool and then watch YouTube videos and learn. And you'll do it for free. And then also another reason it was that it was a culturally white activity factor. It's like now you're going to guilt trip white people into knowing how to swim because apparently it's a white people thing. No, it's an everybody thing who gets in bodies of water. And who has children and they don't want them drowning in water. It's July the 12th, 2015.